Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote, welcoming you back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4. Now, if you remember what we did last time, we were playing as Ethiopia. Uh, we're going for the Prester John and a Blessed Nation achievements. And we had just swallowed whole the nation of Mendibari. Now, all we need to do first, we need to core these. Which we got the admin points for it, so we'll start the coring off on those. And I'm going to weigh off a little bit before I go into Kaffa. We do have the mission to go in to take out Kaffa, but I want to see here if we can get things going a little bit first. Uh, get some money going. Um, let those cores go before we get any overextension penalty that hits us pretty badly. In case, for instance, the Sunny Zealots. I mean, they're a 10%, but at least it's a attempting to hold them off. As soon as those get cores, those will end up being made into a state. I also just want to double check to see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, there they are. And since we're out of war now, we can mop all the forts for, for the money. All right. So, we'll unpause time here. Looks like Galodia has set a doll as their rival, so they'll probably be asking me for military access to go take them out. I don't know if I'm going to let them do that. I, mean, I don't want Lodia to get too big, because I'm going to be ending up eating some of them, especially for that one uh, holy power site pretty soon. We are taking down a little bit of cash, partially for the corruption. All right, let's split these guys in half, and then just have them hang out there in case Kafa decides to do something really stupid. Now, while we're waiting for things to go on, I did say uh, at the beginning of our first one, uh, video on EU4 that I'd quickly go over the Ethiopian ideas. So I'm going to actually pause time here so we can see what the Ethiopian ideas here are. As you can see, they get a, a land attrition uh, knocked down, a uh, monthly autonomy change minus five, and when we get all of these, we'll get the yearly legitimacy of, of one up. So we start off here. The, since they have the solid claim back down to King Zolo Solomon, they get the yearly prestige of one, which is always good to get a just a normal tick of prestige. And, I mean, we can see here the normal decay even just knocks that down to, by two, so that could be a good balance against that. On the next batch, we have a chance of new air plus 50%. Uh, this is due to the fact that they have a clear line of succession. And they often uh, sock away a bunch of their princes off into a, a secretive mountain. In fact, we'll, we should be getting a, a, a event for that coming up here eventually. And then the third one is Hostile Borders. So that's Fort Defense 20, which means, of course, I'll have to actually, to, to take advantage of that, we'll need to build a few more forts, which might be a, bit, a little bit expensive. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and then the fourth event is Dipl Diplo Rep plus one. Then missionaries plus one, so that could help with a lot of conversion in the area since Coptic faith is generally fairly small. Uh, expansionist policy is our sixth, that gives core creation minus 10%, and then the infantry combat ability plus 10%. And then, one, then once again, when they all pop, it gets yearly legitimacy of plus one. All right, so we'll take time going out here. We're not doing much on the on the our merchants here. It looks like Kaffa's still trying to go off on here, so we might actually hit them sooner rather than later. All right, but we're still sliding a little bit of cash here. So we can do fix that. All right. So we do have claims on these two, so that should make it easy going into Kaffa. Potential unrest is probably doing us a little bit. We've got... Since our tech's down, uh, going, uh, it's still in the early policy and there's no institution that's hit, hitting us, it'll, it will be going to the actual five, uh, normal 598, just like any European power. So I'm actually not going to be spending that to get to stability 3. I want to actually get some of those techs up. Because it looks like it's only going to take a couple of years for us to get to tech 4 in most of those. Alright, so. In fact, what I'm going to do here... Since we're waiting a little bit, I will take army maintenance down in order to get some of that cash back. 
Take it down to about three even. Oh, okay, two ninety nine. That'll get us ninety cents back. Let's start making some money. In fact, let me see. We we don't have a high enough tech yet in order to do any improvements. But we're in a good enough position. The coffin is fairly contained, so it's not like it's going to be attacking us too far quickly. Oh, it looks like a doll's trying to do some shenanigans itself, which we'll take an eye on that. Lodi is still allied with us, so that's a no. But that might be the problem. Is they're a they're allied with Kaffa as well. So in fact, let me double check. Like, ah, it looks like Marhan uh, was try is trying to go. Actually, it looks like the reverse. Uh, Warsalongi. Maybe they're trying. To, ah, there must be an attack with, with Ajaran. They went off into the wilderness and got nailed by some of the, uh, the tribes there. All right, let's. So since we're waiting, let's see here. So Elodia wouldn't help us, and they would fight us. So that would be a, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Just. Let's just pause here for a second and check a couple things. So Lodi has got an army of six right now. And if we go in and look at Kaffa, okay, they got six themselves. Okay, that's actually not so much of a problem. I mean, we've got an army of 15. We don't get any force limit yet because I believe we're still waiting on the coring. Wrong one. Let's see how our coring is going. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait actually for the coring to finish, see if we get any additional force limit. Uh, looks like that's going to take until just about a year for most of these. So I'll even take that to time five so we just power right through that. With our army down a little bit, we're building up some cash. And that'll do it there. Yeah, sorry about the uh, relative slowness, but then again, this is just early game, so that always kind of slows that down a little bit. All right, so it looks like we've got one Masawa. Uh, and Mendafar and Hamasin. All right, so it looks like those ended up coring, so we'll make them a state. We'll get about uh, five cents out of that, which is just fine. Here we got all enough states, and we can go up. We have up to 20 states, which is just fine. All right, so now we got that going. And of course, these states want their half. All right, so let's see here. We'll dump that into nobility, and that should make them happy. Oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to dump it into clergy. All right, well, we'll dump that into clergy, then. That'll make clergy happy. All right. We can go to provincial unrest. All right. So, we can put the money back up. Oops. Keep clicking in the wrong ones. So, we'll click money back into into army maintenance, because it looks like we've been making 20 cents without having to worry about anything going. So, that'll get that going. And now we've got some training. In fact, we can might actually finally be able to get a little bit of training out of Alexandria. Nope, still. Looks like we need to get uh, Sukhan in for that. Alright. So, once our army gets back to the green... Bring them together. As soon as they do that, we'll pop that in. Alright, they're close enough to the green now. That what we're going to do is we're going to hit Kaffa here. Take a little bit door, and if Lodi wants to do anything, they can do that. So, we're going to head right in here. And it looks like it's automatically sped down. All right. I'm going to keep this stack at just at the 15, that way I can pull them out, because it looks like Lodi is doing some dumb things up there. But I want to mostly focus on the Kaffa war here. <laughs> Take them right out of their capital as soon as that gets popped, since that is the war goal. Oh, 
Alright, looks like we got some conversion finished, so we'll go to the next one. Alright, and... Alright, so... For those of you who are new to Rights of Man, this is the first event showing off the new uh, ideas and institutions going. This is the Renaissance has started to pop off. It looks like it's gone. In fact, uh, we'll look where it's going in here. Going. All right. Now, it's popped off in Napoli. We we've heard of that, obviously. But it's going to take some time to get down to us. So as it's, it's going to take some time to spread, it's about 10% to spread due to our positive stability, and it'll knock down a little bit of the cost, and we'll start seeing how it's going. It looks like we're getting... No provinces have started going on that yet, so we'll see how long that takes for us to start getting some spread. All right. So let's get back to our war here. It looks like Kaffa is going to meet us, head there, which is fine. We'll take a bit of a of a penalty of crossing the river. Oops, I keep clicking the wrong thing, but that's fine. So we annihilated them, we stack wiped them, and now we're about to hit on their their capital. So in fact, let me see if I can if I pull off that. I will actually have enough to go take on Lodia's army. That way, I can just clear them out. All right, so it looks like we got some coffee starting good, which just helps our institution. Looks like coffee got changed to be a little more interesting. Okay, looks like a doll's been hitting on Yemen, so that's going to make some interesting changes here. All right, we got our first tech, so that's Diplo 3. We take that, because... Now, when you get the these institutions... It does hurt on your... Come here, you little bugger. It does actually kind of hurt a little bit when, when you don't have that institution. It'll start costing you as if you were a outside-of-Europe kind of technology. So you might want to jump on those really quickly. In fact, I'm going to get... That's going to really going to help in this war now that I end up with, with Miltec 4. All right, so I've just killed, clobbered the Elodians. I'm gonna bring him back down there because it looks like Kaf is starting to pull off some some troops, and I want to be able to save my guys here before they get nu nuked. We do have a little bit of morale and the tech bonus. We'll see if that ends up. Uh, Alright, well that's going to probably stack wipe those guys. Actually, no. Okay, so we'll stack wipe them at least. Well, that's good. Go for admin tech 4. Good news is, is I'll be able to avenge that guy by clearing out those. I'll stack wipe that. And these guys can go back here. Hopefully Elodia doesn't decide. Okay, good. Alright, so the good old nobles demand increased pensions. Let's see. I'm going to pause here to look over this really quickly. Alright, so we're going to have to take that. Take a little bit of the tax hit. Just just 10% for, ten, for it looks like 20 years. Because I don't really want to hit that uh, the stability loss right in the middle of a war. So, 10%. And it knocks it down to about... You know, just knocks it down 40 cents. So it's not too huge of a hit. But... It will be a bit frustrating. Alright. So I'm going to try to hit Kaffa again, this time with my stronger force. Alright. We got the 40-40-40. So it's good to build a little bit of power, because we'll need to get that uh, Diplo, Diplo, Diplo and Admin back. As soon as I can finally take out Kaffa. Because Elodia looks like it hasn't... It's given up on... Uh, the good news is it looks like Elodia stopped doing anything for right now. The bad news is my general in this war army just died. At least it looks like I can roll a new one. I have 2 one two. And then I'll have him join in with the main force so we can get them all back together. So I will help with the siege, though. Okay. Alright, so click 
that. We've got that force back together. It should help that siege go really quickly. Unfortunately, the last siege had to get dropped due to trying to save them. So this war will take a little bit of time because it looks like the coffins are hiding out in Lodia right now. But I've still got 18% on the war score. But I want to try and see if I can eat Kaffa whole so I don't have them dealing with me anymore. And that's what our mission is, I believe. Uh, at least just let's con conquer Wailata here. Which is their other fort. Okay, let's just speed this up. Okay, so Kaffa is doing trying to do their own spy network. Alright, so it looks like they're going to be trying to do a lot of things. Ugh, come on. The siege is, of course, taking forever, just at the wrong time. Let's see if 42% goes in. Alright, so the siege of cough is gone. So that's good. In fact, I'm going to... Since I've got one fort taken, I'm actually going to use this time to try and clear some of this, the, the stacks, before they all decide to jump up into a big one huge stack. In fact, that seems to have spooked off Elodia, so I can go back to Waylotta. Right here. And in the meantime, nope. I need to save the money for that. Alright, so I'm just going to speed up here again so we can try and get that siege going quicker. A little status quo start. Looks like we're taking attrition damage. Alright. Alright, so they climb the merchant class. Alright, I've got great expectations. Local marriage, as much as a union as it is a contract of mutual support. And so the Haida family expects that uh, the Negus uh, Negus will give the advice of the Atije, the queen, and actively look for their and his interests. Alright, let's see what we got here. So anything, we'll get rid of a uncooperative advisor, but we don't really have any advisors to do anything. Or I could take less prestige and local economy. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just take the admin hit, because I don't want to deal with the local economy. Our war exhaustion is going a bit issuey. Right. That's because that seed seems to be having a big problem. Now we, we haven't lost a fort yet, but we lost enough. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can gamble. All right, we're up to seven percent. That's good. This should help with the war exhaustion. 28. Alright, uh, of course. Alright, so. Hamasien, which is... Up right there. No, that's God. Yeah. Ah. It's none of our newer things. Give them a local unrest of... Well... Let's see. For five years... I'm going to lower the taxes on that one just for right now. They haven't really paid off much anyway. Ah, finally, we've got Wayla going. So all we need to do is just carpets to siege Ula Bato I Ilula Baror. Come on. Ah, mangling these uh, <laughs> pronunciations. All right. So now that cop has dealt with there... I'm going to run around and see if we can clear some stuff, clear some of that, uh, that war exhaustion here. All right. I can lose five ducks. Oh, he's got to lose the five ducks to be leaving the stage. Let's go on that. All right. Of course. We're doing that twice. You know, it looks like it's starting to become a little bit of pain. So here's what I'm going to do. Instead of eating them whole, I'm going to take... See what I can get from Sue for Peace. I'm going to ignore this Sue for Peace. 
see what I can get out of. Alright. So if I can take those two. In fact, I could take it. I wouldn't be able to take it completely whole. I could take at least three of them. So I'm actually going to see if I can try and get a little bit more war score out of this. They're trying to bring in a couple people back. Uh huh. This is just playing ring around the rosy, it looks like. Which is good because it looks like they stuck on my cap. Oh. Oh. Well, this isn't annoying at all, is it? So it looks like we're playing ring around the rosy. Which is cute. There we go. Finally got into a war with one of them. And we took both of them out. Alright, so that should allow me to eat Kaffa whole now. Alright. So I'll take them whole, see what we can get for money. There we go. Alright, so I can do 45. I get a little bit of aggressive expansion on this. But, I think we'll just do this whole because they got really annoying there at the end. And that'll... Alright, so that gets that whole conquest going. We not only got the... the mission bump. But we also got that. Alright, so we're gonna go with the new mission. So, we can re realign with Elodia, which I might actually do that. Make that easy. Our truce will expire with them in about three years. We're not going to do anything to them. And we'll just wait for the war exhaustion to go down. So in the meantime, we'll core those, since we have a whole bunch of admin points. And it looks like we're being given an interesting opportunity here to offer that not only can I ally with Yemen, but they want to borrow some of my, my troops. So what I'm going to do here is I can use them as a buffer against the dolls since they're in the middle of a war. I'm going to ally with them because it's always good to have a few allies, especially as it looks like the early game Hejaz and Mamluks are the bigger powers because the Ottomans, even though they're in the middle of a war, they might be in the middle of the war, they haven't gotten down to cracking the Mamluks in half and they're the bigger powers to deal with right now. But in the meantime... Since I've just completed my war there, I'm going to mothball the, the forts. I'm not going to do the Condierti yet, because that is going to... Oh, oh mercenary. I don't really need a mercenary. Hmm. I don't remember accidentally buying a mercenary. But, so I took them out, which is doing some cost management there. And we're going to leave it right here. So, in our next video, I'm going to be dealing with trying to see if I can make nice, nice the Lodi again. See if allying with Yemen pulls me into a war with a doll. And then just take our, new, our ne newly conquered lands and probably sit on that for a little bit before I take anything new. That way the country doesn't fall apart, in a, especially with our lack of manpower. So with that... I'm going to leave it here, and I hope that you have a great day, and class dismissed.